Hello, my name is Chrissy Hodges. Thank you for joining me. If you're on Facebook, hello. And if this is you on YouTube, thank you so much for coming by the channel uh, and hanging out. My name is Chrissy Hodges. I'm an, uh, an advocate for OCD. Particularly, I like to talk about pure OCD, if you know what that is. Um, it's when people have mental compulsions. So a lot of times revolves around sexual and violent intrusive thoughts. Um, and today I want to talk about uh, <laughs> the, the greatest topic ever, which happens to be one of our biggest secondary fears, which is what if I really don't have OCD and I am really a monster? Or what if I don't have OCD and my thoughts are real or a therapist decides that they're real or therapy proves that they're real or what if I really am my sexual and violent intrusive thoughts so I just want to say straight up and for any of you that know me know that this is what I'm about this is not a video if you rushed here to find reassurance <laughs> no way are you gonna watch this video and feel reassured that yes you do have OCD or not <laughs> by the end of this video why? Because reassurance is, if I were to give you reassurance, it would be me participating in your compulsion cycle, which I refuse to do because compulsions are what keep us stuck. And when we're stuck, that's when OC makes us miserable. So not having reassurance, I'm actually doing you a favor, even though a lot of people will say, I hate you, Chrissy, because you never give me reassurance. <laughs> I'm okay with that because I know in the long run, I'm helping. Although I hate people too that don't give me reassurance. <laughs> <laughs> so I get it um, what this video is about today is to show you that you aren't alone with this fear and that this fear is pretty rampant that may sound like reassurance but I am going to share my own lived experience uh, with this personal fear so what do I do first of all I am a consultant uh, to, for individuals to help them find referrals and resources for OCD therapists um, books, blogs, uh, support groups, anything that's going to help you on your journey to recovery. And I also do peer support, which is using my own lived experience to help support you in your journey toward recovery with OCD. Uh, I do not do therapy um, and my practice details can be found at treatmentforocd.com or chrissyhodges.com. So let me know if you want to schedule a session and I work with people all over the world. So I'd love to meet you. Okay my story first of all I want to tell you you are not alone if this is a secondary fear that you have the what if I don't have OCD and my obsessions are real okay my story this was one of the sole reasons I did not want to get therapy and I'm gonna tell you so many people that I work with and that I know with OCD resist therapy because of this and I always say, this is what I say to people when they, when they say this, even though it's hard for me to even hear it when I'm feeling that way. And I'm 30 years into recovery. No, I'm 20 something years into recovery. No, I'm 19 years <laughs> into medical recovery. I'm telling you, even when I get intrusive thoughts, I'm like, maybe I really don't have OCD. And they were lying to me all that time. And maybe, um, maybe the therapist lied and maybe like OCD doesn't even really exist, but they just tell us this just to, you know, make something up to make us feel better because we, that we really are monsters. I mean, I'm telling you, I still do that, but, um, <laughs> this is one of the sole reasons why people won't get therapy. And this is what I tell them. I say this and I say this to myself, either way is going to suck. You can either not get therapy because you're too afraid to find out or to, to learn skills to help break the cycle. And it's going to suck. Because you're it sucks right now because you have OCD or you can get therapy and live in that uncertainty that maybe you do and maybe you don't but what if therapy works and that's gonna suck for a while too but only for a while so which suck are you gonna choose are you gonna choose the suck that you know exists or are you gonna choose the suck that actually might lead you down a path to make you feel better so with me I believe I've shared this in a video before so if you've seen this before forgive me but um, my doctor dr. Stephen Philpson um, my biggest thing was you know this is back in 1998 AOL dial-up I was doing phone therapy I couldn't even see his face but I didn't want to either because I was so ashamed of everything that was going on in my brain 
And I was like, so on your website, it says you've treated a lot of people that have this type of OCD. And, and did they have the same symptoms that I did? Maybe. And I was like, what? And then he was, and I was like, but, but, but you think I have OCD, right? No, maybe you do. Maybe you don't. We'll see if the therapy works. <laughs> And I mean, I can remember that moment, <laughs> that traumatic moment, <laughs> like, clear as day of like, this guy doesn't even know if I have OCD or if he doesn't care if I do and he just wants money from me. That's what I thought. And that's what I continued to think. But I also trusted him. I did see that he had success stories and he did say that this was a common secondary fear. He did not give me reassurance. But knowing that I was not alone helped so much. So a couple of the things that I hear and that I felt from people when they are so entrenched in this fear of what if I really don't have OCD and what if these obsessions are real or what, it, you know, the first one is, well, it just feels different for me. It feels different. Well, okay, I can combat that easily without giving reassurance. How the heck do you know it feels different for you? <laughs> like, I don't know how anybody else feels. I know how I feel and it sucks. <laughs> but you can't read things online. Which, by the way, Google, worst compulsion ever. Thank goodness it wasn't around when I was hugely in my symptoms. You can Google anything all day and read how someone feels and how, what their symptoms are. But you have a choice whether you take that and apply it to yourself of, well, see, this person got better from therapy because they explained that it felt different from them or they had a symptom that I don't have or they have a symptom that I do have but I just feel like mine is worse. I know OCD wants you to feel like you're stuck but you, you don't you don't feel different because you can't feel different you only feel how you feel and when you feel OCD you feel like shit <laughs> just get it out there because that is the truth you feel awful you feel miserable and you feel like there is no end what I like to try to tell people is the reason why you feel this way is because you don't know any different you know most people know the moment that their fear happened and they can remember what they felt like before and they go, Oh, I wish it could have, I wish I could go back to that. You, you know, you, you can think about that conceptually, but at the same time, you don't know how to operate anymore when you've been managing OCD and surviving OCD for this long. So it isn't important how you feel compared to anybody else. All that's important is getting to the right therapy. The next thing, I am the exception. <laughs> okay, so brutally honest here. I was the same way. Uh, my, my second biggest fear was, what if therapy works for everybody but me? There's all, this, there's all this evidence that this therapy works, but all of a sudden, I'm gonna be the one person. Well, you know how I got through that, and I'm gonna tell you how you can get through that, and it's very brutal. Um, you aren't that special or important. <laughs> When we say we are the exception, we are saying that, well, there's something different about me. And so see, it might not work. That's, that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable. You are not the exception. Recovery is possible for anyone. And therapy is hard for everyone, okay? You are not, you know, therapy is challenging you know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, get into this whole thing about how therapy is so horrible or whatever else because therapy is wonderful because it works, but it's work. It's a lifestyle change. It's a brain change. It's how you view your thoughts and the world and how you react change. So if you don't want to be the exception, find an OCD specialist and do the work and you will get better. So. I wasn't the exception either and I thought that I was I thought well there must be something different about me no I'm not different <laughs> I'm not special I was just like everyone else that had OCD and I had to do the work to get better so um, 
I just, I already touched on this, but I put it down and I want to reaffirm because this is the biggest killer, y'all. And I'm just as guilty, so I can't really even <laughs> talk. I was just Googling today about whether or not I have <laughs> I haven't been feeling good and so I was googling today <laughs> to see if I was dying um, but googling and comparing symptoms so this I I totally just talked about this a few minutes ago about feeling different googling and comparing symptoms is horrific when it comes to this secondary fear horrific because I was just telling someone earlier today you can find 19 different people that will say I have this symptom and that symptom and you're checking off on your list like, okay, that must mean I have a, a HOCD, that must mean I have POCD, that must mean this, that mu must mean that. Sorry, my phone's about to go off so I'm just gonna turn the volume down. Um, but then there's gonna be that one person that says, well, I have that symptom and you're gonna go, oh my God, I don't have that symptom, that must mean I don't have it. <laughs> and that's gonna ruin your day. And that's going to totally validate the fear and it's going to throw you right back in the cycle. Okay. So comparing symptoms is ridiculous. Some people have the groinal, some people don't. Some people, you know, check and check and recheck by looking at a person to see if they're attracted. Some people don't. Some people watch porn and some people don't to see if they're getting aroused or whatever. It doesn't matter what everyone else does. And listen, I'm telling myself this on my own advice right this second. <laughs> It doesn't matter. All that matters is that there is evidence-based treatment for this and the right therapist can help you figure it out and help you to learn to manage this and live a normal and productive life without being in this misery of a cycle. So I want to conclude with a couple things. Um, first of all, one of the things that I find so interesting and that I did as well is, and this, this fear is super common. It's, I mean, I have not worked with anybody that has not had this particular fear. Um, that may have been a little reassurancey, sorry. But the funny thing is, <laughs> OCD is a medical condition. So while we do throw around themes, because it is important to be able to relate to people who get it, who have the same themes, so you can kind of say, oh my gosh, well, Thank goodness I know that someone else is experiencing this and I'm not alone uh, and I'm you know and I and I don't have to feel like I'm alone and that there isn't treatment that's possible even though there's that it is a medical condition and so for fear of being a little reassurancey we have to remember that the themes don't matter what matters is that you have these symptoms that are huge that are taking over your life even when they ebb and flow, because I know for all of us, it will go, it will, I shouldn't say all of us, but for a majority of us, it will ebb and flow. So sometimes it'll be a little bit better. It's still in the back of your head, back here like a monster, you know, ready to pounce, but it's still, it's, it sometimes will be okay. And then it consumes us. Okay. So at those times, that's when you panic and that's when you're, you start to be afraid that what if therapy doesn't work because I can't stand this, I can't live like this. I don't understand the uncertainty of whether or not it will work for me. I don't, you know, I can't process whether or not this really is OCD. We all get there, right? But the bottom line is this is a medical condition and it requires treatment because it is chronic. Whether that be medication and therapy or both you got to get adequate help. And if you are seeing a therapist that doesn't know what sexual and violent intrusive thoughts are, stop seeing them. They don't know how to treat OCD. They're gonna do more damage. Talk therapy is not the way to go. Do not go with psychotherapy. <laughs> go to someone who is an OCD specialist. And lastly, we chase after that 0.1% of all of our obsessions, correct? You know, you, we all know this. You can spend an entire day Googling and then you'll see one thing and it'll be that 0.1% that you're like, maybe I read that wrong. Or maybe this really means that, you know, I am gonna turn gay or I am gonna turn into a pedophile, you know, or I'm gonna murder my family tomorrow, right? So that's what we do. But it's the same thing for this fear. <laughs> you can look at the symptoms and see that it is affecting 99.9% .9 of your life and it's taking 
OC is taking up that time in your day and you'll be like, but maybe, <laughs> or what if, to the point one percent, the point one, and I'm here telling you I do it too, but living in uncertainty is trusting that 99.9 .9 and sitting in that point one and being like, maybe I don't, maybe I do. And my final thoughts for this are, I do not want to tell you that yes, you have OCD or no, you don't have OCD. That is not my job. I don't give advice. I'm a peer support. I use my lived experience. But what I do know is that if it walks like a duck and if it talks like a duck, all of us that have OCD will find a way to doubt that it's a duck. <laughs> I love y'all. Thank you for being here. Go to my website, christyhodges.com or treatmentforocd.com. If you need peer support or if you need referrals and consultation, you'll find out more about my rates and fees. And oh, and also there's this. Yay! Here's my book, Shameless Promotion, Pure OCD. You can find it at Amazon or Book Locker. I will see y'all later. Have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. And I will be back Tuesday um, doing a video for Mental Health and the Mighty. And I will be excited to see you there. Bye.